So in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your tax rate in zero to comply with the new Finance Act. Now you recall that the president passed the Finance Act in um, January 2020, and the Minister of Finance has announced that the commencement date for VAT, uh, the new VAT rate, will be 1st of February 2020. So in this video, I'm going to show you steps that you need to take to ensure that your VAT rate in your zero actually complies with this. Now, this video is basically for businesses that are beyond the VAT threshold. You may recall part of the changes in the Finance Act is that if you are under the 25 million threshold, you may not need to put an output VAT, meaning that you don't need to charge VAT on your transactions. So, let's go. Now, so first, um, log into your zero account, which I'm already logged into my zero account now, and go into your settings. Now, under your settings, your tax rate will be under the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings, you're going to see your tax rate. Click on it. And you are going to see your tax rate. If we have um, Pillarcraft helped you to set up, um, you are going to have similar words like VAT on purchases, VAT on sales. And usually, because this trans this um, VAT rate has been previously used in Zero, Zero will actually lock this rate. The whole idea is that you will not be able to change the historical transaction. You will only be able to change transactions going forward. So first, what you need to do is that you need to set up two new tax rates one for purchases one for sales purchases means input vat and sales means your output vat so let's go now so i will call this because i you must make sure it is distinct it is unique so i want to call it 7.5 vat on purchases So I come here again and name it 7.5% purchase fat. And here I come to put it 7.5% here. 7.5%. Save. Then I do the next one for sales. I say 7.5 baht on sales. I come here and say 7.5% sales baht. Come here and put 7.5% here. save so this is the first step you have created it the next step is to change your chart of account to change the ledgers that are using these taxes in your chart of account so you will go either if you have your chart of account in the shortcut on if you start you can find it here but if you don't find it click on here go click your settings again go to your advanced settings and click on it here now the reason i have it under my shortcut here is because i've highlighted it i've highlighted this star so any trans any of this item you highlight here you star it will be under your shortcut here so let's click on our chart of account so my shortcut to doing this is first making sure i arrange all the taxes in the order so I can see them already. Um, so I can actually click on this and do click on change tax rate. And I want to change since it's cost of goods sold. I want to change it to purchases. Save. Then I go to look for my sales. This is sales. This is revenue. Everyone that has the 5% VAT, click on change tax, 
then I want to go and change this one to 7% on sales click on it and that's done now just to check just to check that this is corrected if I click on here I click on my invoice and I raise an invoice to somebody which is due today and I put um, something as what the person bought one and it is sold as 30,000 now you can see that our tax rate has shown that it is now 7.5% so hope um this video was um educated for you hopefully you will go on to change this by yourself but if you require any help you can reach us to us at contact at pillarcraft.com and we can be of help to you thank you